dear student welcome to chemistry academy by tanzil sir fajandar high school and junior college wahur now today we are going to start a very important concept of organic chemistry that is halogen derivatives name of our topic is halogen derivative actually it is a halogen derivative of hydrocarbon now in this case halogen we know we are familiar it belongs to group 17 fluorine chlorine bromine iodine all are the halogen family or halogen elements belongs to group 17 or it is called as halide cl br i and it is represented by symbol x which symbol is used for halides x now second part is given hydrocarbon hydrocarbon means the bond present between carbon and hydrogen the bond present between carbon and hydrogen such compounds are called as hydrocarbon the last concept is given derivative actually derivative means to derive or to obtain derivative means to derive or to obtain halogen derivatives of hydrocarbon so it is obtained from hydrocarbon and how it is obtained from hydrocarbon so by replacing <coughs> replacement of hydrogen atom or atoms by halogen it is called as halogen derivative of hydrocarbon so what is the definition of our topic replacement of hydrogen atom or atoms by halogen atom it is called as <coughs> halogen derivatives of hydrocarbon now student in this topic some important concept we are going to discuss the first part is given classification classification of halogen derivatives now classification it is given in different manners different bases or different ways now first classification it is given on the basis of skeleton on the basis of skeleton actually this word skeleton it means the structure what is the mean skeleton is skeleton it means the structure or we can say from which hydrocarbon it is obtained whether it is obtained from alkane alkene alkyne or aromatic compounds from which hydrocarbon the hydrogen atom is replaced that is called as skeleton <clears throat> on the basis of skeleton there are four types of halogen derivatives first one is your haloalkene second one is your haloalkene third one is your haloalkyne fourth one is your halo arene now alkane alkene alkyne arene are the hydrocarbons now first one is your halo alkene when hydrogen atom from alkene is replaced now i have written methane your methane is ch4 when one hydrogen atom is replaced means that ch4 will convert into ch3 and that hydrogen atom replaced by halogen atom it is called as haloalkene so how to define the haloalkene when hydrogen atoms are replaced by halogen atom from alkene such compounds are called as haloalkene compounds now what is haloalkene haloalkene means we can say hydrogen atom replaced from alkene now ch2 double bond ch2 it is alkene when one hydrogen atom is replaced from alkene means that ch2 double bond ch2 will convert into ch2 double bond ch single bond x this is called as the haloalkene likewise you can define here haloalkyne what is haloalkyne so when one hydrogen atom replaced from halogen atom from alkyne or we can say halogen atom attached to alkyne it is called as halo alkyne the last part is given halo arene student actually arene this word it is used for aromatic compounds 
and what are the aromatic compounds so aromatic compound means we can say the compound which has benzene like structure and benzene like properties what is aromatic compound the compound which has benzene like structure or benzene like properties that is called as arene now i have written here benzene see this is the structure of benzene now its molecular formula c6h6 what is the molecular formula of benzene c6h6 one hydrogen atom is replaced means that h6 will convert into h5 now this is called as haloarene suppose hydrogen atom replaced from this position it is called as haloarene if it is replaced by cl chlorobenzene it is it is replaced by br it is bromobenzene if it is replaced by i it is iodobenzene so this is a first classification on the basis of skeleton one is your haloalkane haloalkene haloalkaene haloarene this is a first type of classification on the basis of skeleton now we will move to second part of classification and that is classification on the basis of classification on the basis of halogen atom present classification on the basis of halogen atoms present okay now on the basis of halogen atom present it is classified mainly into two types one is your mono halo alkane first part is given that is your mono halo alkane and second part it is poly halo alkane one part is your mono halo alkane and second part is your poly halo alkane now mono means one poly means more than one it may be two three or four when one hydrogen atom of alkane is replaced by one halogen atom it is called as mono alkane okay mono halo alkane what we call a mono halo alkane one hydrogen atom replaced by one halogen atom now i have written here ch3cl now it is called as mono halo alkane now come to the poly halo alkane now poly halo alkane it is further classified as di halo alkane then tri halo alkane then tetra halo alkane now in case of di halo alkane the two hydrogen atoms are replaced by two halogen atom now i have written here ch3 single bond ch3 CH3 single bond CH3. Now two hydrogen atoms are replaced by two halogen atom. Or how many halogen atoms are present? Two. If two halogen atoms are present, it is called as the haloalkane. That I have written here CH Cl3. Now CH Cl3. It contain how many halo groups? How many halides are present? So one, two, three. It is called as tri halogen derivative if four halogen atoms are present likewise this if four halogen atoms are present it is called as tetra halides now this structure is chloroform ch cl3 now instead of x suppose i am taking here cl now its molecular formula become ccl4 now c c l 4 it is called as carbon tetrachloride what we call it carbon tetrachloride now here one halogen atom is present it is mono halo alkane here two halogen atoms are present it is di halo alkane here three halogen atoms are present it is tri halo alkane here four halogen atoms are present it is tetra halo alkane now this is the second classification on the basis of halogen atoms present student now we are going to start the classification of mono halo compounds classification of mono halo compounds now that mono halo compound it may be from alkane 
अल्किन अल्काइन और एरोमेटिक कंपाउंड एंड दैट बिग पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दैट इज थर्ड टाइप ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ मोनोहेलो कंपाउंड नाउ क्लासिफिकेशन फर्स्ट वन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ स्केलेटन सेकेंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ हेलोजन आइटम्स प्रिजेंट मीन्स कितने हेलोजन आइटम प्रिजेंट थे अगर एक हेलोजन आइटम रहा इट इज मोनो इफ टू हेलोजन इट इज डाई इफ थ्री हेलोजन इट इज कॉल्ड एज ट्राई डेरिवेटिव ओके इफ फोर हेलोजन आइटम्स आर प्रिजेंट इट इज कॉल्ड एज टेट्रा हेलोजन डेरिवेटिव Now next classification of monohalogen compounds means the halogen derivatives of hydrocarbon which contain one halogen atoms. उसका अपन classification start करेंगे Now in case of monohalogen compounds, first part is given alkyl halides or it is called as haloalkenes. First one is here alkyl halide. Second one is here allylic halide. Third one Vinylic halide, fourth one benzylic halide, and fifth one is your aryl halide. Student, before going to start this classification, let me revise hardly thirty second. Let me revise one concept that is hybridization. In eleven standard hybridization, definitely everyone has studied. We know we are familiar about hybridization. Three basic type of hybridization: sp3, sp2, sp. Now I am not going to discuss what is sp3, what is sp2, what is sp. In short, logically, if I am saying if saturation is there, means all valence is satisfied by single bond. If single bond is there, that is sp3. Logically, logically, if double bond is present, that is sp2. And if single bond is present, sp3. Double bond is present, sp2. If triple bond is present, it is sp. Logically, मैं क्या बोलूँगा? अगर single bond रहा तो sp3. Double bond रहा तो sp2. And if triple bonds are present, it is sp. Logically, मैं lecture start करता हूँ. What is alkyl halides? Now, in alkyl halides, the halogen atom Attached to sp3 hybridized carbon in alkyl halide, the halogen atom attached to sp3 hybridized carbon atoms. I am writing here methyl chloride. That is your CH3Cl. CH3Cl. Now this one is your halides. All valence is satisfied by single bond, so this carbon is your sp3 hybridized carbon. And halogen atom attached to sp3 hybridized carbon atom, it is called as alkyl halide or haloalkanes. Alkyl halides or haloalkane. Now second part is given allylic halides. Student, what is the mean allylic? पहले मैं डेफिनेशन बताता हूं व्हाट इज अलाइलिक हलाइट्स एक्चुअली अलाइलिक हलाइट मींस इन अलाइलिक हलाइट्स द हेलोजन आइटम अटैच टू sp3 कार्बन इन अलाइलिक हलाइट्स हेलोजन आइटम अटैच टू sp3 कार्बन आइटम व्हिच इज फर्दर अटैच टू कार्बन कार्बन डबल बॉन्ड हेलोजन आइटम अटैच टू sp3 कार्बन Which is further attached to carbon-carbon double bond. For example, I have written here CH2 double bond, CH2 single bond, CH2 double bond, CH single bond, CH2 and X. Now this one is your halides. Now halides attached to CH2. अगर मैं CH2 check करूँगा, all are the single bond. So halogen atom attached to sp3 carbon atom which is attached to carbon carbon double bond this position is called as allylic position carbon carbon double bond ka next carbon ye carbon ko allylic carbon bolte and halogen atom attached to allylic carbon it is called as allylic halides so what is allylic halides in allylic halides halogen atom attached to 
sp3 hybridized carbon halogen atom attached to sp3 hybridized carbon which is further attached to carbon carbon double bond and it is called as allylic halides now come to my points vinylic halides see basically what is the difference between allylic and vinylic in vinylic halides halogen atom attached to sp2 hybridized carbon what i have used here sp2 hybridized and logically maine kya bola tha sp2 matlab carbon carbon double bond i am writing here ch2 double bond ch suppose cl now this carbon attached to carbon carbon double bond so this carbon is here sp2 hybridized carbon and halogen atom attached to sp2 hybridized carbon atom it is called as vinylic halides so in case of allylic halides halogen atom attached to sp3 hybridized carbon which is further attached to carbon carbon double bond in case of vinylic halides halogen atom attached to sp2 hybridized carbon atom sp2 hybridized carbon atom means it is a part of carbon carbon double bond that is a basic difference between vinylic halides and allylic halides now come to the benzylic halides actually benzylic halides ka matlab rehta ke the halides in which halogen atom attached to sp3 carbon the halides in which halogen atom attached to sp3 carbon atoms definitely it is attached to sp3 carbon which is further attached to aromatic ring which is further attached to aromatic ring this carbon is called as benzylic carbon and these halides are called as benzylic halides students try to remember what is the benzylic position the carbon which is attached to benzene ring and this carbon is here sp3 hybridized carbon and this one is known as your benzylic halides so in benzylic halides halogen atom attached to sp3 carbon which is the part of which is further attached to benzene ring now come to the aryl halides in aryl halides halogen atom directly attached to sp2 hybridized carbon see all these carbon of benzenes are sp2 hybridized kyunki har jagah double bonds hai halogen atom directly attached to sp2 hybridized carbon atom which is the part of benzene ring which is a part of aromatic compounds it is called as aryl halide so classification of mono halogen compounds it is classified mainly into six types one is your alkyl halides halogen atom attached to sp3 carbon allylic halides halogen atom attached to sp3 carbon but which is further attached to carbon carbon double bond matlab ye carbon kisko attach rahega carbon carbon double bond vinylic halides halogen atom directly attached to sp2 carbon means carbon carbon double bond aisa carbon jisko kya attach rahega double bond benzylic halides halogen atom attached to sp3 carbon which is attached to benzene ring aryl halides halogen atom directly attached to sp2 carbon which is the part of benzene ring student i am writing one example tell me whether this halo halogen compound is sp2 sp or sp3 now i have written ch triple bond c and x now here x it is attached to sp2 carbon sp3 carbon or sp carbon किसको अटैच है डेफिनेटली इट इज अटैच टू एस पी कार्बन एंड वाई दिस कार्बन आर कॉल्ड एज एस पी कार्बन बिकॉज विच बॉन्ड इज प्रेजेंट कार्बन कार्बन ट्रिपल बॉन्ड एंड इट इज द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ हेलो अल्काइंस सो इन हेलो अल्काइंस द हेलोजन आइटम अटैच टू एस पी कार्बन सो दिस इज अ बिग क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ योर टॉपिक हेलोजन डेरिवेटिव one part is remaining within 2 minutes i will try to finish my lecture now halogen derivatives 
फर्स्ट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ स्केलेटन सेकेंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ हाइलोजन आइटम प्रेजेंट थर्ड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ मोनो हाइलोजन कंपाउंड इन टू सिक्स टाइप स्टूडेंट्स नाउ बिफोर गोइंग टू फिनिश माई लेक्चर लेट मी एक्सप्लेन वन एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट दैट इज रिलेटेड टू मोनो हाइलोजन कंपाउंड वी हैव रिटर्न हेयर अल्किल हलाइट्स एंड दिस पार्ट वी हैव टू स्टडी इन अवर फर्दर टॉपिक अल्किल हलाइट्स मो अल्किल हलाइट्स और हेलो अल्किल नाउ अल्किल हलाइट्स इट इज रिप्रेजेंट बाय सिंबॉल आर एक्स जनरल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अल्किल हलाइट इज आर एक्स अल्किल ग्रुप इट इज रिप्रेजेंट बाय आर हलाइट्स इट इज रिप्रेजेंट बाय एक्स ओके नाउ सेकेंड पॉइंट दैट इज गिवन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ अल्किल हलाइट्स when we will see the classification of alkyl halide mainly it is classified into three types and this classification depends upon nature of carbon type of carbon kon se base par ek classification depend rehta hai nature of carbon apne alkyl mein study kiye the primary carbon secondary carbon tertiary carbon a carbon to which further another one carbon is attached that is primary carbon carbon to which another two carbon atoms are attached secondary carbon carbon to which another three carbon atoms are attached tertiary carbon so depending upon the nature of carbon to which halogen atom is attached alkyl halides are classified as primary alkyl halides see here primary alkyl halides next one is here secondary alkyl halides next one is here tertiary alkyl halides how many types of alkyl halides are there three now first one primary alkyl halides secondary alkyl halides and tertiary alkyl halides now what is primary alkyl halide halogen atom attached to primary carbon what is secondary alkyl halide halogen atom attached to secondary carbon what is tertiary alkyl halide halogen atom attached to tertiary carbon suppose i have written here ch3 ch2 cl now here cl attached to this carbon and this carbon attached to only one carbon so this carbon is your primary carbon halogen atom attached to primary carbon it is called as primary alkyl halides next one suppose i have written ch3 ch ch3 br okay now here this ch to which br is attached ch to which br is attached this ch attached to further two carbon right one left one okay so this carbon atoms are called as a secondary carbon and this halide is known as secondary alkyl halide and last example suppose i have written here ch3 c ch3 ch3 single bond br now this carbon is your tertiary carbon now halogen atom attached to tertiary carbon it is the example of kya kya example ho gaya ye tertiary alkyl halide now primary alkyl halide it is called as 1 degree alkyl halide secondary alkyl halide it is called as 2 degree alkyl halide and tertiary alkyl halide it is called as 3 degree alkyl halide student this is our first part of the topic that is classification of a halogen derivative of alkane now in my next video definitely you will get the nomenclature of halogen derivative of alkane or slowly we will try to run our topic and we will try to finish in well manner thank you so okay so hope you will enjoy my lecture just go through your textbook read all points which we have covered in today's lecture now we will meet in next lecture that is nomenclature of halogen derivative of alkane